Welcome to everyone. My name is Lisa Hirvonen and I'm working as a sales engineer in Futurasan. Today I'm going to give you a brief presentation about Futurasan with two special product insights. The first product insight will be regarding our monocrystalline perk series Silk Pro. And the second product insight will be regarding our back contact IBC panel Zebra. Unfortunately, you're not able to speak with me today, um, but please feel free to type any question that might arise during this webinar, during this presentation in the chat window on your right side. So before starting the presentation, let's do a quick sound check. So, so please right now in this chat window, yes, if you can hear me and you, if you can see me well, or no, if you have some kind of technical problems with the platform, because in that case, a colleague of mine will reach out to help you to, to resolve the issues so that you in any case can follow this presentation. So yes, let's just wait one second to see if, if everyone is connected. Okay, I think that we can continue. So yes, everything is okay. Um, so after this presentation, I will be happy to answer all your questions. So if we run out of time, in any case, please don't worry because all questions will in any case be answered by email or this afternoon, or in any case, within tomorrow. So I will now, during the presentation, I will switch off my webcam, but I will be back to you after the presentation to answer your questions. Or in any case, I'm here, I'm only switching off my webcam. So for you who don't know us, Futura Sun is an Italian company specialized in the manufacturing and sale of PV models. Our commercial network is spread to more than 70 countries worldwide with a team that has more than 15 years of experience in the photovoltaic industry. Futura Sun is actually the only Italian company that manufactures solar panel at its own plant in China. And we have a total production capacity of one gigawatt. And actually we are the only European giga project of photovoltaic panels in Asia. So of course, this is something that we are also quite proud about. On this slide, you can find our locations worldwide. And as I told you in the previous slide, you can find our manufacturing plants in China, but our headquarters are based in Cittadella, a city in Northeast Italy, which is a very nice place because it's in the center between Venice and Verona, just to give you an idea about our location. Uh, we have warehouses in Italy and in the Netherlands, where we keep on stock already custom cleared panels in order to serve the European market with a quick and effective logistics service. In Germany, on this map, you can find our project office as Futura Sun also is involved in industrial and utility scale PV projects. So if you want to know more about this activity, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Yeah, you can give us a call or send us an email and we will be happy to give you more information. Here on this slide, you can see how our commercial network is spread worldwide. The blue color countries are the countries where we are mainly active as Futura Sun while the orange colored countries are the countries where we are mainly active with our subsidiary off-grid sun. And like the name reveals, off-grid sun is handling a wide assortment of off-grid products for off-grid applications. Coming to our motto, it's anticipate tomorrow. And this motto follows us in all daily activities and it inspires us to always be at the forefront in the industry with innovative products and solutions. So we have an R&D team that works continuously on new products, new materials, new technologies to anticipate the trends and the needs of the market. As for certifications, even now if some years have passed, we are still always very proud to say that Futuresan was the first company in Europe that obtained the IC certifications according to the new 2016 norms with Tuvranglan. And in August 2020, we obtained the IEC certifications also with DECRA. Coming to insurances, we have a product liability insurance issued by the historic insurance company Lloyds. And this insurance provides coverage for third party damages, which may occur when the model is operating. For example, the, the risk of fire, even if we want to underline that the risk of fire is minimal. So coming to our product insight, um, we will have this insight regarding Silk Pro and Zebra that are two highly efficient model series. We will start the presentation with some slides 
of benefits that both series have in common. To later move on to more details about the single products. Starting with the panel size, as you can tell from this illustration, we are not going crazy sizing. The dimensions both of the Zebra as well as the Silk Pro panel are in fact comparable to a standard 60 cell panel, making it easy for the installer to handle the panel on the rooftop. Meaning that we have, had, we have industry leading efficiencies on a very compact model size. The model illustration that you can see on the right is used just an ex, as an example um, of size comparison. On this slide, you can see the model configuration. Both the Zebra as well as the Silk Pro are assembled together with what we can call a twin model configuration in which um, the solar cells are connected in series in two independent sections that are connected together in parallel in the middle with a three-part junction box. Um, you might recall um, that a standard panel with full-size cell has the junction box in the center of per part of the glass and not in the middle of the panel like the Zebra and the Silk Pro panel. And having two independent model sections help to resolve a typical problem of residential installations, that is shading. I think that the um, illustration on this slide is quite self-explaining, but I can tell you in any case, so you can see in case half of the panel is shaded by a chimney, trees, or similar, the second half will in any case continue to produce energy undisturbed. This simplifies, of course, the design and installation and minimizes also the need of optimizers, making you, of course, to save to save some costs. Ah, and one more thing before we move on, uh, the Zebra panel is the only IBC panel that is available with this kind of configuration. And coming to the temperature, um, this is a very important factor regarding a good or bad performance in terms of kilowatt hours, because a solar model can be associated a little bit with ourselves, because we tend to get lazier with increasing temperatures, and so is the panel. So the warmer it is, the worse the model will perform. And this performance decrease is defined by temperature coefficient, meaning the lower the temperature coefficient, the better the performance at high temperatures. Both panel series, as you can see on the slide, have a very good temperature coefficient, even if Zebra is beating Silk Pro on this parameter. So this is a slide that I find very, very important because it explains the difference between how models are tested and how a model actually is behaving once it's installed. Um, on this slide, you can find the STC test um, on the left, and on the right, you can find the real outdoor behavior. Um, photovoltaic models are tested in STC, that is short for standard test conditions, and all factories, laboratories worldwide are testing the panels in the same conditions to have an equal comparison of products. And I would say, of course, this is a very good thing that everyone is testing in the same way, uh, but this test is performed with the light perfectly perpendicular to the model with an irradiation level of 1,000 watt per square meter, a spectrum of 1.5, and with a cell temperature of 25 degrees. And now, if you look at the illustration on your right, I think it becomes quite immediately obvious that STC conditions rarely repeat once the panel is installed because of various tilts, temperatures, irradiation level during the, during the year, but also different levels of irradiation and temperature also during the day. And unfortunately, priority is often given to the peak power of the model that is written on the, on the model label. But please remember that what is of even greater importance is the production of the panel panel expressed in terms of kilowatt hours, and a high watt peak value is not automatically translated into a high kilowatt hour value. So we can say that a high kilowatt hour value can be defined according to how well a model is performing in conditions that not are corresponding to STC conditions. And during today's product uh, insights, you will get some unique characteristics of the Silk Pro and also about the Zebra that is helping to boost the kilowatt hour production out of your system. So let's get started with the first product insight that is regarding Silk Pro. Uh, Silk is the name that is characterizing our new generation of monocrystalline multibus power model. And Silk, please note that Silk is a registered trademark of Futurasan. And today we will discover together the model series Silk Pro that is a monocrystalline perk model with half-cut multibus bar solar cells. 
Uh, Silk Pro is available with six different configurations that are standard white with silver anodized frame, white back sheet and black frame, and in the elegant total back version with black back sheet and black frame. All three aesthetical combinations are available both with 120 and 144 cells. You can see also the power range on, the, on, on this slide. On this slide, you can see three very important benefits of Silk Pro. First, the ribbon used to interconnect the solar cells are round, round, thin wires instead of the flat ribbon commonly used for five bus power panels. This ribbon brings several benefits, like less shaded area of the solar cell, more reflective light and less mechanical stress given to the cell. The second benefit that you can see on this slide um, is the half cut design that in combination with multibus bar, reduce the operating current and internal resistance of the panel, which is something that is boosting the power of our panel. Third, lower risk of micro cracks and hotspot for a safer product over time. Uh, today, we have also a size communication to do because recently we have made the silk pro slightly smaller. So a slightly smaller pa panel is of course also increasing the panel efficiency. So as we have today, we have installers and distributors following the webinar. So please pay attention to this detail and kindly verify with your future and contact the model size that will be delivered to you in your upcoming orders in order to avoid possible misunderstanding and installation issues. So please pay, uh, pay attention to this uh, change of dimension. And as I already mentioned, the Silk Pro has a three part junction box. And these junction boxes are placed in the center of the panel, like you can see on this photo. And kindly note on this slide that the cable length that we have decided to keep long in order to simplify the installation of the panel in any kind of configuration. So um, this slide is a little bit to summarize the Silk Pro. Um, so we can say that the combination of multi-ribbon and half-cut cells gives us several benefits that we can translate as follows. We obtain a reduced internal resistance that we can translate into more power, less shaded area of the solar cell, meaning again, more power, improved behavior under shaded conditions, again, giving more power, reduced risk of hotspots, giving us also more security, less mechanical stress of the solar cell for a longer durability, and a higher yield at lower radians, meaning more kilowatt hour per kilowatt peak. On this slide, you can see the round ribbon that I mentioned, that of course creates less shades and more reflected light into the cell. And also this benefit is translating again into more power. Here we have the guarantees of Silk Pro with 25 years performance warranty and 15 years product warranty. So, so coming now to our IBC panel Zebra, at Zebra time. And the Zebra model is based on the European European Cell Technology Zebra, developed by the International Solar Energy Research Center Constance. The Zebra cell is a back contact solar cell, meaning that both the positive and the negative contacts are both on the back of the cell, leaving a completely clean front. The N-type Zebra technology is giving several important benefits, and this is what we are going to talk about now. Uh, so starting with the cell concept, most of the commercially available panels, including Silk Pro, are based on P-type cells, but Zebra is based on N-type. On this slide, you can find some important bullet points regarding N-type Zebra cells. First of all, N-type is doped with phosphorus instead of boron, with one electron more, making it negatively charged. And this electra, extra, extra electron is helping us to boost the efficiency of the panel. The Zebra N-type solar cell is also immune to the degradation problems such as lead and LATID, but I will explain this a little bit further on in the presentation. Um, and N-type cells, in particular the zebra cell, are also characterized of having a lower temperature coefficient compared to P-type cells, thanks to the higher voltage of the cell. And, and models with N-type cells are priced at a higher level compared to P-type models, but still, considering a long-term investment, because when we make a system, we expect to have it operating for at least 25 years of warranty given. And this means that N-type models still often are shown to be a sustainable choice thanks to the benefits of this technology. So this means that 
the extra investment will pay back itself with time. Here you can see the solar cell. As the name says, the electrical contacts are on the back, creating a completely plain surface. So thanks to this, we don't have any shades on the cell caused by ribbons or bus bars. On the left image, you can see the complete um, clean front side. And on the right, you have the back side, where we also have all the contacts. And this creates, of course, not only a maximum light absorption, but also a very, very nice aesthetical appearance of the cell itself. And the Zebra series, as you can see on top of this slide, is available with white back sheet with a power range from 350 to 360 watt peak and in a very elegant person with a total back with a power range from 340 to 350 watt peak. And coming to the power, as you can see written on the slide, once the cell is transformed into a model, the high efficiency remains, reaching almost 21.3%. So translating into more power on less space. So again, here we have another benefit for the residential market where space often is an issue. And the Zebra panel has also an excellent temperature coefficient of minus 0.3% for every degree over 25 degrees, meaning that the Zebra panel will perform well also during hot weather conditions. And also this is a very important factor, adding more kilowatt hour per kilowatt peak. In both versions, the frame is always black for superior aesthetical appearance. On this slide here, you can find a very elegant all black version of the Zebra panel that is, of course, particularly suitable for buildings with a high architectural value. So um, let's now start with a little bit more technical benefits of the Zebra panel, starting with its more stable performance over time. Actually, 95% of the cells worldwide suffer from a phenomenon called LID, that is short for light induced degradation. And this degradation occurs during the very first period of sun exposure that can cause a reduction in efficiency all the way up to 5%. Another important degradation issue is LITID that combines the effect of light with the effect of high temperatures. And also this can be really devastating for the panel as also this can generate power losses also all the way up to 6%. But yeah, the P-type cells that are used for like all standard panels, including PERC, are dug with boron, that is the cause of these degradation issues. Yeah, the possible cause, it's not said that the panel will have degradation issues, but it could suffer from them. Uh, but the zebra panel is by design immune to these degradation problems because the cells are dug with phosphorus and not with boron. And as you can see, uh, there is one bullet point also regarding UV, UV illumination. And coming to UV rays, these are not only aging our skin, but they're also very harmful to many other materials, including solar cells. But also regarding this topic, the zebra cells do not degrade under UV radiation. And talking about um, shading, uh, we already mentioned that the zebra, that having a twin model configuration, optimizes the model performance in case of shading. But the mo model also demonstrates a better behavior under partial shaded conditions compared, compared to a BERT model. And um, to demonstrate this, we did a test in our factory to simulate the model performance in case of partial shading created by a leaf. And so we created a leaf shape and we did a test both on a zebra panel as well as on a perk panel and both panels had a half cut model configuration. On the red dots on the photo on your right side, um, you can see where we position the leaf shape. And in the table below, how many cells that were shaded on the different positions. Uh, for example, now, if, we, if you look at point number six in the center of the panel, the zebra had a loss of 8.14% and the PERC model 13.46% with two shaded cells. And moving down, downwards on the photo to point number seven, you can see a loss of 0.24% for the zebra panel, while the PERC loss was 8.59%. And this test was done with four shaded cells. So the superior performance of the zebra panel was clearly shown at this test. Um, a risk that is related to partial shading is the hotspot risk, which I hope <laughs> I hope that you haven't already experienced any problems with hotspots. And, and also regarding this topic, the zebra has an important benefit as the cell dissipates in reverse bias conditions, um, meaning the circumstances when a hotspot occur, uh, the cell dissipates the heat over a larger area, and therefore the cell stays at a lower temperature, minimizing the risk of damaging the panel.
Um, on the left side, you can see the zebra cell being stressed on the reverse bias, and you can notice how the temperature is dissipating over a larger area. So the peak power, uh, the, the, sorry, not the peak power, but the peak temp temperature is not localized. Uh, on the right side, you can see a thermal uh, photo of a standard cell, where you can notice that the, that the heat is very localized in singular points, and the heat is not moving away from its location. And talking now about sunlight, as you surely already know, the sunlight is composed by different colors, the colors of the rainbow, uh, traveling on different wavelengths. And the zebra panel actually can absorb more light at every wavelength, thanks to the unshaded front of the cell. But the biggest differences, as you can see on the graph on this slide, are noticed during cloudy days when the light is shifted to blue, as you can see on the left, and in the mornings and the evenings when the light is shifted to red, as you can see on your right. Um, this is a benefit that is translating to higher output and a longer duration, or said with easier words, the inverter switches on early in the morning and it switches off later in the evening. Um, I, mentioned in, I mentioned in the beginning of the presentation that the models are measured in STC conditions with the light perfectly perpendicular to the panel. So to check the zebra panel's behavior at different tilts, we did a test in STC, but we changed the model tilt to different angles, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 degrees. And on this illustration on this slide, you can see that the angle zero is corresponding to STC, so with the light perfectly perpendicular to the panel. And if we take, for example, a 10 degrees angle, you notice a difference of a little bit more than 2% between zebra and the perk panel, which can sound like a quite low number, but if we consider this percentage over the year, we will again add additional kilowatt hour per kilowatt peak. Uh, coming to the financial part, IBC panels are uh, what many users call a high-end product, and everything that is high-end, we know is often also priced at a higher level. Uh, and I'm not hiding that so is the case also for the Zebra panel. It is more costly than a standard per panel. Even though, uh, to say, it is more cost competitive against other IBC panels available on the market. So you will have a more costly panel, but surely you will bring home more added value. In this graph, you can see a simulation of a residential installation in northern Italy, where you can find a cumulative financial gain over time using the Zebra panel. As you you can see you will have an initial higher cost compared to a system with a standard perk panel, but thanks to the superior performance of the Zebra panel, this extra cost will be paid back, not immediately, but with time. Um, and also, yeah, with time, the accumulative financial gain will only increase. Uh, we have stopped this curve, as you can see, at the 25th year, reaching an accumulative gain of 1,756 euro. And we have stopped the curve at this year because it's also the year when the warrant expires. But of course, we expect that an increasing curve will, uh, yeah, the curve will continue to increase also after the 25th year, because it's not that like the panel will stop working only because the warranty period is, is expired. So we're expecting only an increasing curve. Uh, talking about kilowatt hour per kilowatt peak, if we consider the same five kilowatt residential installation in northern Italy, here we can see a simulation of the kilowatt hour production during the warranty period. Here, please keep your eyes on the blue line that is the zebra performance. Also in this graph, you can see an increasing gap with time that is reaching more than 8% at the 25th year. So we are summarizing now the presentation. The zebra panel has many technical benefits that are translating, translating into a higher reliability and a higher stability over time with more kilowatt hour per kilowatt peak. But the panel is also characterized by superior aesthetical performance, not sorry, not performance, but appearance, making it uh, the ideal choice for residential rooftops. Uh, also, availability of the product is not a problem, as you can find the zebra panel available uh, on stock in Europe. The many nice benefits of the zebra panel make us also confident to improve the product and performance warranty. So you can see that the standard Zebra warranty includes a 25 years product warranty and a 25 years performance warranty with 89% guaranteed power at the 25th year.
Okay, so thank you all for listening. Thank you for registering. Thank you for following this webinar. And uh, again, I hope to see you also connected for our next webinar. Okay, thank you and bye-bye.